The study says UNM is one of the most dangerous campuses in America. Target 7 looked at the numbers and asked the university and former cops what they think about school safety. Thousands of UNM students walk this campus every day in the heart of one of the most crime-ridden areas of the city. I've never felt nervous or scared walking around by myself. There are some parts where it kind of gets sketchy. I feel safe on campus. A recent study funded by the National Campus Security Company says students should be concerned about their safety. Using 2017 data, it shows UNM is the second most dangerous campus in the country behind a commuter college in Indianapolis. Adding, UNM reported 903 criminal offenses in 2017, but the study does not account for the size of the campuses when it did its rankings. Two years ago, UNM had 62 assaults, 177 robberies and burglaries, and there were 58 violent crimes committed against women. UNM officials questioned the validity of the study. They noted the majority of their crimes were stolen cars. I can't speak on their study. I don't know where they got their numbers. I don't know how they developed their intel. I believe the campus is a very safe campus. Our number one priority here always is the safety of all the students. Pat Davis was a UNM cop for five years. He is now a city councilor and his district includes the UNM campus. He said when he was a campus cop, he dealt with the same things APD has to address. This university is not immune from anything that happens on the other side of Central. And as Albuquerque crime goes up, it's not a surprise that the crime in an urban university setting is going to go up. UNM is also right now in the middle of negotiating a new contract with the union that represents the campus police officers. Now, tonight at 6, we look at how much they're paid and what they have to deal with. 